Salah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Whitestone Dome Glass for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. The plastic protectors that come pre-installed on our Note 10 and Note 10 Plus are great, uh, but if you picked it up on my video on Monday, I did share with you guys that I have three deep cuts on my actual protector on the Galaxy Note 10. This is a phone that I've had for literally about a week now, and from putting it in and out of my pocket, I've actually picked up a few scratches on it, so I need to replace the protector, and why not go for the best possible option to replace it with? And that's the dome glass. It's a glass protector. It provides much better protection for our display, but it also doesn't interfere with the 3D ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out the Whitestone Dome Glass for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we put out new videos on the channel. So what we have in front of us is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy Note 10. And as I was showing you guys in the introduction, my Galaxy Note 10 picked up some really nasty scratches on the display. Again, it's about, it's been about a week now that I've had the device, a little over a week. And of course, these things are just definitely an eyesore, regardless of the fact that the display is on or off, uh, especially because I'm using the dark theme, I get to see them all the time. And of course, there's no issue on the device. I'm able to lock it and unlock it. But when you're using black uh, backgrounds, let's go ahead and unlock the device it's definitely very, very visible. And for that, of course, enters the Whitestone Dome Glass protectors made specifically for the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, as well as the 5G variants of either one of them. Uh, we have full ultrasonic recognition. That's the fingerprint sensor that's in the display. And it definitely has, uh, it works much better because it's actually a full adhesive coverage. Uh, it doesn't actually disapply the adhesive at the edges. So that's one of the really cool, really nice implementation of what we have here. And it has, as I mentioned to you guys, full filling, full clarity, because it, again, it just provides the coverage as well as the curvature around the display. And we have the cutout open for the uh, front facing 10 megapixel camera that we have on both of these devices. Uh, of course, it does include basically the entire kit. You are able to pick up the replacement or the uh, the glass kit separately down the road. So once you use this once, and let's say for some reason the glass gets damaged and you want to replace it, you could just buy the glass replacement and it's a much cheaper price than buying the entire kit. The only thing I would recommend is always keeping the UV light adhesive uh, curing light that's included in the full kit that we have in here. So. Let's go ahead and do, we're gonna replace the one on the Galaxy Note 10, just to show you guys how it looks, as well as of course, how we're gonna basically fix the problem that we have with the existing protector. So starting off, let's go ahead and see what comes in the box. We have one box that includes the UV light. And again, as I mentioned to you guys, uh, you definitely wanna keep this UV light and do not get rid of it. Um, it essentially is the UV light itself included uh, with the cable. This is a micro USB to USB type A. You can use this with any kind of wall charger, either the one that came with your device, or you can even use it with a power bank, as long as you have enough of a charge. Now in the box, we do have the updated installation guide that does require us to use this little additional weight. And I'll show you guys how to use this and as well as we need to use that little suction cup. Um, they do include the updated installation guide. So if you received one in the box that only includes this booklet, make sure that you look for this or at least contact them for them to give you guys the additional installation or I'll walk you through what comes in basically a little bit different here. Uh, but short answer is that all of the steps are pretty much the same as we've used them in the past with the exception of step five and six that do have the additional instruction on how to use this little guy uh, that will provide a little bit of additional weight on top of the glass at the bottom where the fingerprint sensor is so that we have the best seal and curing possible there and of course the best distribution of adhesive at that, at that position. The uh, dust lint remover, the stopper if, as well as on the far here we have the two the wet and dry uh, towels. Uh, we have the cover for the speaker at the top that we'll use to make sure that there's no adhesive that goes into the top earpiece and of course uh, let's go ahead and put this on the side. We also have the glass protector, as you can see it right there. Um, and it is present basically as a one kit here. So if you do end up uh, at some point or another, if you do pick up the one that includes two, uh, just to keep in mind that you'll end up having two pieces as opposed to what I have right now. And this is just basically that one piece. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and do the installation. Uh, the other thing I wanna share with you guys real quick is we have the little guide here as well as uh, the two adhesive sticks. And the reason why they include two is in case you have an error or you make a mistake installing it the first time, you can remove it, clean up the area around the display and everything gets back to normal. You can try again with the second glue stick. Now, of course, what we need to do at this point is start off by removing the glass, prote the plastic protector that we have here. And as I said, you could see right there, here's the scratches that we saw before. And if I remove them, the display is perfectly clean. Again, the protector did its job and it did it quite well. Unfortunately, uh, once they get scratched, you definitely need to replace them. Now, as far as the installation process, I'm doing a quick time lapse for you guys right now. Uh, but the short answer essentially is get a level surface that is a clean area. There's no dust in the air. Um, if you'd like it, preferably uh, the bathroom is always the best situation. So turn on the steam a little bit, close the door to the bathroom, and then you, any kind of level surface that you have there will give you the best installation environment as there's less chances of having any lint in the air. 
Once you have everything set up, you put the phone in the actual case itself. Uh, you align everything else on top of it. And of course, at that point, we need to put in the, the actual uh, little uh, bridge that we have on top, allow the adhesive to drop on the display and then align it to go down to the center. Take out the glass out of the plastic, remove the cover for it, and then of course, using the new method or the new technology, uh, the method that I included here, the revised step five and six, we're going to use that additional guide at the end. So once we drop the glass, once we put the glass uh, on the actual unit itself, we'll let it drop on the actual display, and then of course, align it with this additional piece, allowing it to have additional weight on glass where the fingerprint sensor kind of falls in, uh, in there. So allow that to basically disperse once you have the adhesive, every single area covered from the top to bottom, remove the pieces, remove the, uh, the guard that's all around it. And of course, we'll start the 45 second curing at the top, middle and bottom. Once that process is done, remove the device and clean off whatever additional uh, little excess you may have at the corners. And of course, we'll go for the secondary uh, part, which enables us to do 15 seconds, top, middle and bottom. And at that point, the device should be pretty much ready for us to go through and start looking at it uh, and make sure that we have everything installed correctly. And as you can see, the installation ins went pretty smoothly, very easy, very simple. Uh, just make sure that you use that additional piece that they include in there with the revised installation. And that's mostly to provide the additional weight here so that we have a very good, very clean installation as far as when it comes to the actual fingerprint sensor. Now, I haven't re-registered my fingerprint sensor. And I also haven't uh, turned on high sensitivity and I'm able to actually unlock the device and it still goes through. But they do recommend us going into the actual settings, go under display, Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, depending on your device, it may be a little bit different, but turn on touch sensitivity. And basically what it does, it increases the touch sensitivity on the display. So that if there is any issues with it because it has a glass protector on it, then you definitely have it covered and it actually picks up your touches. Uh, the other thing, of course, is what you should do is re-register your fingerprint. But again, for me, it hasn't actually impacted my installation. So if I do have any problems, I can definitely just re-register it and everything will be fine. But other than that, let's try a couple of cases on this. And here I have a couple of cases. This is a VRS design case as well as the ring case. Let's go ahead and turn it off and turn off the display and we'll go ahead and put it in. Now you can definitely see it right there that there's an ever so sm a small gap between the glass and the actual edge of the case. And that's done by, by design and that's making sure so that there is actually no protrusion, no pushing on it. And then again, you can see it all the way at the bottom here and all the way on the edge. So we'll go ahead and close it and you'll see it does not push and it works great. Again, this is the VRS design case. Let's try, go ahead and try out the other. That's the Rinka. Hopefully I'm saying the name correctly. And again, this is another thin case. Uh, you can just basically insert your device and then close it. Now, this one does actually seem like it's touching ever so slightly on the, on the top here. And then the only thing I would probably say is just make sure that you lift it, but it doesn't look like it's pushing the glass off. Um, other than that, I think on the bottom, there's a small gap that you could see it right there. So definitely very nice, definitely case friendly. So as you guys saw, the installation process is very simple. Uh, follow the instructions that are in there. I've done many, many videos showcasing how to install the dome glass protector from Whitestone on many devices. The main thing I would recommend is make sure that you get it basically on a level surface in an area where there is no dust. And of course, when you're curing it, curing it in basically three different stages, top, middle, and bottom. And then basically whatever amount of time you're getting there, whenever you're doing like this, the first one at 45 seconds, do top, middle, bottom, remove it out of the casing and then do another 15 seconds top, middle and bottom and you should be able to get the best installation and at that point of course once you're done re-register your fingerprint as that's what is recommended. So re-register the fingerprint afterwards and you should have no problem using your brand new Note 10 with a glass protector and the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor working perfectly. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have used these guys before. I've used them before even on the Note uh, basically on the S10 and an S10 Plus and they definitely do a really good job of basically giving us the best implementation for glass protection protection, as well as basically full adhesive and of course, compliance with the fingerprint sensor. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, make sure you check out that link in the description below if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video.